Hello everyone, and welcome to the first of what will hopefully be a series of videos showcasing new features of the Flare engine. The time between Flare versions is usually a few months, so this should help display what goes on during that time. Let's get started. Mods now support descriptions and dependencies. Descriptions allow modders to add some more information about their mod and its intended purpose. Dependencies add a little bit of robustness to the Flare modding system. If I disable the Fantasy Core mod and click OK, you'll see that the game isn't broken, and down on the console, the Fantasy Core mod was enabled and placed in the proper load order. If the Fantasy Core mod didn't exist, the Alpha Demo mod would have been disabled completely. We now have a translation for Portuguese. The default hero names when creating a new hero are now translatable. We've been cleaning up internal code in preparation for the 1.0 release. One of the most major changes is the abstraction of the rendering code. While Flare 1.0 will continue to use SDL 1.2, Flare Engine Next Fork, which I'm using right now in the screencast, has support for accelerated SDL 2 rendering. Finally, we've added a help flag for launching Flare from the, from the command line. That about does it for this video. Flare is free software, so if you want to play it, create a new mod, or help contribute to development, you can do so using the links in the description. Thanks for watching.